Okay guys, here's your crash course in phone shielding. Different frequencies bounce around and reflect or penetrate better. Lower frequencies especially find their way through just about anything, including metal. With that being said, if the metal forms a complete enclosure and is grounded, then it can block them. This creates what is known as a Faraday cage. The first thing that you'll do is turn off your phone so that you don't wear down the battery or cause the phone to overheat. Next, you will need to alternate layers of a good conductor and a good insulator. The best metal to use to reduce most common EMF, Wi-Fi, and cell signals is aluminum. The thicker the aluminum, the better. You noticed I already wrapped the phone in a plastic freezer bag. I chose freezer bags because they're thicker than your regular sandwich bags. Next, you'll wrap the phone so that there's a two inch overlap. While the overlap will help keep the waves from bouncing inside, your best bet would actually be to use a double-sided conductive tape. This method has already been tested and you'll need to repeat this process three or four times minimum. The reason for this is that the aluminum actually attenuates the radio waves. It doesn't actually block them. But three or four layers are needed in order to reduce it down. Now some people might ask about using mylar or, or those blackout bags that you can find online. I don't know if any of the bags have actually been tested. However, I can tell you why they may not be the best idea. Mylar, for instance, uses a spray on aluminum, so the thickness is not going to be consistent as it's not a solid layer. Additionally, seams in both types of bags are also a source of weakness. However, you probably cover them with double-sided conductive tape as well. And lastly, with mylar bags, they actually heat up enough to burn holes in the aluminum layer, thus reducing effectiveness. And theoretically, they could even catch on fire. The other thing I wanted to say is if you're going to pack up your phone, don't forget a charger. If you notice, I use my hand to round the edges so that you don't poke holes into your plastic baggie. Kind of like this. So remember, three layers of a freezer baggie, then heavy duty aluminum foil, freezer baggie, heavy duty aluminum foil, freezer baggie, heavy duty aluminum foil. <laughs> And then to be safe, another layer of freezer bag and um, heavy duty aluminum foil. In this case, I went ahead and used the blackout bag as my last layer. I did this because I already had the blackout bag and it's just an extra layer of protection. You can see the seams that I was talking about here that are vulnerable as well as the Ziploc portion because it is not covered in aluminum, that's plastic. It's very similar to a Mylar bag that you would use for food. Lastly, if you have it, I would tape down the bag or the aluminum foil with double-sided conductive tape. That's your most vulnerable point of entry. I hope this helps everyone. I keep little handheld walkie-talkies like this. My emergency kit.